It's a bag. It's a bag. It's a bag. So today I'm gonna be going over my YSL envelope bag review and just like my thoughts on it and my buying process because I got this bag um, from a consignment store. I say co-signment, but it's consignment store here in Dallas named Keeks. Um, it was a great experience. I love the store. I actually wanna go back soon. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you the bags. I haven't showed this bag and I'm gonna tell you why I haven't showed this bag. <laughs> it's just me in my head, so. No, leave me. Okay, so let's get into the video a little bit about this bag. Um, I got it from Keeks here in Dallas. It is such a good store. Like, I wanna go back and see what else I have. When I originally went to the store, I wasn't intending on buying anything. I just wanted to go check it out because I found it. And guys, I went and saw this beauty. Like, I was literally just browsing, had no intention on like buying anything because I really want to want it. Like. That's the thing, I don't wanna buy hype beast items, I don't wanna buy trendy items, I wanna buy stuff that I gen genuinely love and just, you know, have that connection with and feel it in my soul, y'all. Like, that's how bags make me feel. That's my thing, y'all. But anyways, I found, well, I saw this beauty sitting on the shelf and the lady that was in the store, she was like, um, She's like, girl, um, we just got that bag in. I think it had only been there for probably less than a week because you like, you know, you bring your bag and you sell it. So it was basically brand new into the store, and she was like, oh, I wanted that bag, and I was like, and that's how I knew I needed to get it because it was gonna be gone fast. But what really drew me to it is it was flawless. I mean, it had no scratches. It had no wrinkles and everything like honestly the scratches on here now is from me it only had one scratch and it was in my video and i kind of like put my finger over it when i bought the bag but it had no scratches but the one thing about buying soft leather handbags is that it scratches very very easily and i guess i didn't really think about it too much because my other bags they aren't like that so like you know the louis vuitton leather is pretty um scratch resistant and then my other ysl is pebbled leather so it doesn't scratch barely at all and it'll look good for a long time but that's why i haven't really worn this one because i see how much i have scratched it up only wearing it probably less than a handful of times and it gets wrinkled easier but i mean it doesn't make me not love the bag anymore because i completely love this bag but you just have to be more careful with it and i'm so curious to see how the chanel soft leather is because i just don't think there's a difference in like you know the price point and the the brands and everything so yeah the bag has this chunky chunky chain which i love you can either wear a double strap or it does this i honestly haven't worn it like this um i wear it like this i don't know i just love it this way and so the inside of this bag, it has a metal clasp right here, a button or whatever, it has Saint Laurent right here. And on the inside, it is ginormous. You could fit so much in this bag, like literally anything. And then it has a pocket right here. And I honestly don't even carry a lot in my purse to really fill this bag up, but it's just a, kind of just a statement bag itself that you don't really need to put a lot of stuff in it. It's not an everyday bag is what I guess I'm trying to say. And then it has a slit on the back which you could throw your phone in, which is what I've been doing. I've been putting my phone back here. And on the inside of the back pocket, it's leather in here. Um, so it's not canvas, but you don't have to worry about scratching it up because you can't really see it. And on the inside of the bag, it's canvas, not leather. So it's canvas on the inside. Another thing I love about this bag is that it has this leather strap right here to you know support your shoulder or add some comfort on your shoulder um without this chain being like all indented in your shoulder that is one thing i don't like about a few bags that i have is that there's no um strap leather strap right here to make it comfortable when wearing on the rings right here it has saint laurent a cute detail and when i first got this bag guys i'm going to be completely honest because you know i want to be completely authentic on my channel is that some of the bags have the YSL emblem above the V cut right here. So mine is below it. And I personally like this style more. Um, and there's another style where it has like different leather right here. It has this chevron leather right here, but it has different, um, like a stitch quilt type um, print on this part. 
but I honestly like this one more because when I first started liking YSL, this was the bag that was like, wow, like this was the bag that did it for me. And it's kind of crazy just thinking about that because it's just, it's just crazy to me, like manifesting and just thinking about the things you want and just getting the things. I don't know, it sounds like crazy, but you can have whatever you want in this world. And I don't know, you just gotta get it. The thing is, it's just a few years old. So that is another thing when buying secondhand, um, you might get older bags, like, you know, people that collect bags, they might end up selling a few other bags or something like that. But this bag was just in very good shape. And there's a few things I went and looked at myself and did my own research about the bag and I think I feel a little bit a little bit more comfortable now with buying secondhand. I don't know if I will buy secondhand again, uh, especially with this new microchip thing coming out with Louis Vuitton and Chanel, if you guys have heard. Um, but basically they won't be having like authenticity cards no more or like in Louis Vuitton they have the label. They won't be doing that anymore. They'll just be having chips in the bag. So I just wonder how that's gonna work and yeah. That was my kind of little setback about buying consignment or secondhand. Um, thing, if you're gonna be buying secondhand, I would say just do your research, know what to look for on bags, know what to look for on fake bags, just so if you do buy secondhand, you know, you don't have any problems. Um, I just like buying off of eBay and stuff. I just wonder how girls buy off of eBay and stuff like that, or like Poshmark, because it just seemed like, you know, anyone could just sell you anything, so. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.